Jordan here with Calbassin. Today I just want to bring you guys a little uh, two-part video. Uh, one being uh, my new confidence bait and two being a, a sort of update on the channel and apology and stuff like that. So let's get on with the first topic. The first thing I want to go over is my, obviously my new confidence bait and that is the Seabird Seabird Outdoors uh, jigs. So today I went to my local uh, pond out here in the Bay Area, um, and I was I I went out just to fish a jig because I want to get more confidence uh, in a jig. You know, I could I could crank I could crank I could uh, do top waters all the time and stuff like that. But the jig is uh, something that I've been struggling on, and so today I was using the Seabird Outdoors uh, Archie Head jig. I'll be sure to do an up close picture. But uh, Mike on Seabird Out at Seabird Outdoors, I can't speak highly enough. You know, you've probably seen my uh, previous video where I uh, reviewed all of them, and. Uh, these jigs just straight up catch fish. If you want to catch a fish, you will pick up some of these baits. So today I was fishing the uh, mostly this jig, which is uh, black with red tip. Out here in the Bay Area, we have a lot of uh, crawdads. Not so much crawfish, in my opinion. I see a lot of crawdads, which are much bigger and they have a reddish color in our area um, so this worked really well and then I had a missile baits D-bomb in bruiser flash which is a black and blue jig I mean a black and blue uh, creature bait what I love about these baits on jigs is that when uh, when flat I mean when still these appendages float up and the the appendages flare out like a crawfish I mean a crawdad in uh, the defensive position also I loved swimming this today uh, whenever I swam it you know these just kicked all over I definitely recommend these so yeah uh, I'll include some pictures uh, uh, on the fish as I uh, go on talking about uh, what I did, the techniques and the places that I fished. So pretty much today um, I would go along the banks, obviously I'm mostly a bank fisherman but whenever I could get the boat I'd go out. Uh, but what I mostly did was go along the bank and uh, cast along the rock the the rock it, the riprap uh, tapered down into the water and I just uh, cast right on the edge of the riprap and the uh, the mud on the bottom and I just worked the jig along that and usually uh, the fish just love to ambush the jig and then um, the other thing I do is just go in open water usually on points just cast along that point and work it back to me. I do a lot of fan casting. That is where you cast from from nine o'clock to three o'clock or three o'clock to nine o'clock just to find where that school of fish or where those big fish are at. You might get really small ones, you might get really big ones, you never know, but I love to fan cast so I could just cover more water. Uh, and then as I moved on, I just move on to my farthest cast to my three o'clock position, and then start fan casting once more. Uh, and then uh, after that, as it got darker, I started swimming the jig for some reason. I just wanted to try it, and I picked up a huge, huge four pounder. It was four or five pounder, I'm not sure, but it was huge. Uh, I have a picture compared to my foot. I don't really like putting fish on the ground because that's horrible in my opinion. 
it just takes off their slime coat but I didn't have my uh, my tape measure so I couldn't really measure them uh, but yeah that's pretty much what I did I just work it on the bottom at first I would throw it out shake it uh, leave it there for about three four five seconds and then just shake it in place not even not even moving it just shaking it right there and that would just I visualized the tent the uh, appendages just just vibrating like that like the crawfish is in a position to uh, to uh, defend itself and then after that I do a little drag about move the rod tip about three four inches and then pause for about two seconds and then do the same thing drag it about three four inches and then just shake it and then pop it and usually right when they popped it when I popped it they bit it uh, or they they peck at it and then I just hold my rod tip at a 10 o'clock position wait till my line started moving off reel in the slack and set the hook hard and I usually got them right where right in the meat where I wanted it so yeah that's pretty much it uh, if you guys have any questions um, you know just comment down below and I'll get back to you guaranteed as soon as possible uh, so going on to the second part of the video I just want to tell you guys how sorry I am for not making a video in so long I've been really busy I've been job hunting and uh, I applied for my local movie theater and a, a local um, what's it called a local grocery store and I got both jobs so, but I'm going to pick the um, the job that obviously pays the highest and with that money it's gonna go straight to my fishing channel I'm gonna pick up a GoPro uh, stuff like that so I could actually so you guys could actually see me set the hook and stuff like that uh, so I don't have to film on my iPhone which is much more convenient for me so yeah, uh, just one again, just apologize for not making a video in so long. Um, if you have any questions, please comment, 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 comment. I'll get back to you as soon as, my, as possible. <clears throat> so yeah, check out these jigs, Seabird Outdoors. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helps you. And thank you for watching.